Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk about setting column values automatically by using a workflow. In a previous demo, I created a column here, total cost, that calculates the hardware cost plus the setup cost. Uh, so let's take a look at how that was done. As you see, that looked rather good. There we go, uh, hardware cost plus setup cost. And as you see, that worked well in the list, as long as you're not using a total of these values. And that's a feature that only exists in classic mode now, but it's such a great feature, so I'm sure Microsoft will put that in modern mode eventually also. So there are some things like that that don't work if you're using calculated columns. And I've also seen some bugs in, in calculated columns. So I usually prefer to do this in a workflow instead. But of course, both work, more or less, but uh, I'm going to show you now how to do the same thing in SharePoint Designer with a workflow. So first of all, I'm going to remove the um, uh, column that I just created, the total cost. Just delete that. And then I will create a new column that will be set automatically by workflow, total cost. And that's going to be a currency, of course. And again, I don't want any decimal places. And I also want to make sure that people know that this will be set automatically so they don't have to fill that, that out. There we go. So now we're prepared for that. Then I'll just jump into my SharePoint designer. And so let's create a new workflow. There we go. I'm going to go into computers here and create a workflow for that. Uh, you could do this in both the SharePoint 2010 or 2013 workflow, but uh, I'm going to show it in 2013 now. Set total cost. That's what I want to do. So, of course, we always have to go to the end of a SharePoint 2013 workflow. And, of course, in workflow settings, we'll set it up to start automatically when an item is changed or when it's created. Then we'll go into edit workflow and make sure that we update the list item. However, we can update the list item with a calculation right away. So we have to first do a calculation of those other two columns, then put it into the item. So let's do that, do a calculation. And we're gonna take the value of you know, the setup cost. The setup cost, there we go. And we're gonna plus the value of the hardware cost, of course. And let's create a new that variable for that. That's more user-friendly and readable. And that will be total calculated cost, right? And that's returned as a number. We don't have in any currency field here in local variables. There we go. And then we can set the uh, current item field value. So we're going to set the total cost, of course, to the value of that variable that we just created. There we go. Variable total calculated cost. I like to actually clean this up. So the calc one that we're not using, I'm going to remove that one. So that should be it. Then just run this now. Or we're not running it. We're publishing it, of course. And now it should work for all new items. If we want to update all the existing items, which of course we do, then I would actually recommend doing this, just creating a new column, uh, just calling it test. Okay. And then we will do a quick edit and just set that value to one. Uh, update all three items here that I have and stop editing. And there you see now it's working the workflow has run on two items and just retry again. And there you see all the total cost values have indeed been calculated. So now I can just go into list settings, remove this test column, delete. And also in the view here, the all items view, I actually don't want to see that workflow set total cost, so let's remove that from the view. And one 
more thing that I want to do in that view is that I want to, uh, let's scroll down here and find the total. So I want to set the totals. That was the problem I was trying to solve. So the total cost would of course be the sum of all those. All right, let's press OK. And there we see we have the sum of hardware, sum of setup, and sum of total cost. So that concludes my demo on making a calculated column or an automatically filled out column with a workflow. Thank you for watching this demo.